Showers and thunderstorms become more numerous here as we get into the next few days, and there is the potential for some stronger storms. I'm Ed McIntosh in the Q2 Weather Center. We've seen a little more active weather, especially in central and western Montana on Tuesday, but some stronger cells have also developed from Billings to the east and south as well. Now, as this weather continues to wind out of the picture overnight, things become a little quieter. Here we are by Wednesday evening, and some showers and thunderstorms start to redevelop, and in fact, areas of southeastern Montana into northeastern Wyoming could see some stronger storms develop, producing strong gusty winds, perhaps damaging winds, and even the potential for some larger hail. Plus, we may see a little bit of higher elevation snow start to move in out of this as well. Move the clock ahead into Thursday, and now we're into some good rain-making weather. Thursday, Friday, showers will continue. Could be heavy at times, especially across the eastern plains of Montana and northern Wyoming. Saturday, morning still a good potential for showers in the region as we get later into the weekend mother's day monday tuesday a little drier and warmer weather pattern starts to develop here's how things look for the morning readings in the 30s in the mountain foothills 40s elsewhere isolated showers and thunderstorms through the evening hours will start to fade and then tomorrow 60s to 70s that area of southeastern montana more prone to strong to severe storms especially in the yellow shaded areas once we get through the day and rain showers on thursday Thursday with widespread uh, potential for thunderstorms and some flooding potential.